Hello and uh, good morning, Sudoku friends. Welcome to the New York Times Heart Sudoku. Today is September 1st, 2023. Let's see, it's always nice to start a new puzzle, isn't it? Well, there's a line blocking up here and down here and across here. So th the only place left for a nine in box five is right here. We have a five blocking up and up and over. A five goes here. Two quick digits, three blocks down. One of these must be a three, four blocks over and up. Got four here or here and here or here. Only three digits missing here, namely a seven and a one and a four. Let's see. Well, the seven must go here, of course, and these now must be a one and a four. Therefore, these must be a two, six, and an eight. And here, I don't really know what to do about that. Got six block over and over. One of these is a six. And hmm, two. Nothing much to say about the twos yet. Five blocks down, therefore five goes here, here, or here. And suddenly everything is quiet. Where to get the next number? Four must go here, here. What else is missing here? A one, four, six, and an eight. A one and a four block here. So these must be one and fours, and this must be a six and an eight. So if one of these is a six blocking across, and we have this six blocking across and this six blocking down, it follows that this must be a six. Now we have this six blocking down, and this six blocking down, this is blocking across. So here's a six. And now we have two sixes blocking across, across like so, and down here, here is a six. And we can place a six here now, because this six blocks up, this blocks up, and this blocks across. So yes, here is a six. Can we place the last six? Six blocks across and across, so yes, we can. Here is a six. No, it wasn't the last. But this is the last. Here it goes. Now, um, one, four, six, and eight were necessary for these squares. The six now is taken, and the one and the four can't go here. Therefore, it must be an eight. This eight blocks up. So does this. Here is an eight. Now we have a one and a four in these two squares. Can we do anything with that? I'm not sure. Up here, a one, four, and a two. Here we can do something. The two blocks up. So a two must go here. Two blocks up and over. A two goes here, therefore. Now we have a two in one of these two positions. We need a nine for this square, though because this nine blocks it down, and these two nines block these four squares here. So here's a nine. Now a three, five, and a seven for these squares. Can we do anything? Seven, three, five, no, not yet. Four and eight here. Here we can do something, though. The four blocks up, here's an eight, and here is a four. Now, this 8 blocks down, this blocks across. One of these is bound to be an 8 blocking across. This 8 blocks across, and this 8 blocks up. So an 8 must go here. Now, we have these two 8s blocking these two squares. This 8 blocks this square, therefore an 8 must go here. 1, 7, and a 3, I believe. Yes, so we got a uh, one blocking here. One of these must be a one blocking across. Therefore, this must be a four and this must be a one. 
Now we have this four blocking across and these two fours blocking these two squares. So here is a four. Nines, nine block up and nine blocks across. Here is a nine. Now we have nine here or here and also here or here. Here we are looking for a five, three, and two. Let's see, five, three, and a two. Five must go up here somewhere. But I think we knew that all the time, didn't we? One, four, and a three here. Again, not really possible for me to do anything at the moment. One, four, and a five here. Hmm, five, five. No, not yet, not yet. Three, five, seven, nine here. There's a five, seven, nine blocking this square from anything but a three. Now these must be a one and a seven. Therefore, these must be a three and a five. And therefore, this must be <laughs> it's the last open square in the row, of course. <laughs> so there's no question that this is a two, is there? Here now we're looking for a 5, 7, and a 9. 7 and 9 block this square, therefore it must be a 5. This is now a 7, 9. 5 must go either here or here. 2, 3, 4, 1, 5. Hmm, no, I don't think so. But here's the thing. This cannot be a 1, 8, can it? This cannot be a 1, 8. So a 1 and an 8 must go in these two squares here. Therefore, this must be a 3 or a 5, and this must be a 3 or a 5. This is also a 3 or a 5, and therefore this cannot be a 3 or a 5. That is a unique rectangle issue. So let's not go along that path today. I don't want to unfriend anyone who thinks that we shouldn't be using our knowledge of unique rectangles when we solve Sudoku. So let's try to forget that we found a unique rectangle here and see if we can find a solution to the puzzle using other means. One, two, three, seven, nine. Three, seven, nine. This is a one, two. Nine, seven, two. This is a one, three. So we got a nine here or here. One. I'm not seeing that quite yet. I'm interested in the bottom row here. We only have one given. Well, we do have the, the chance to make some assumptions. For example, these two squares must be a 7, 9. There can be no doubt about that. I'm looking at these four squares now. In particular, I'm looking at the bottom row because we need a 1, 2, 3, 4 for these four squares, right? So this four blocks here. So here we're looking for a one, two, three, four, and this is a seven, nine. So I'm looking at these squares now. I'm seeing the two blocking down, so a two can potentially go here. This can be a three, and it can not be a four. It can also be a one. So let's look at that in another way. Seven, nine here, one, two, three, four. Of course, the two must go here or here, but that's uh, beside the point. One, two, three, three, four. We got a one, two, three, four here. So one, two, three, four must go in some order in these four squares. Four numbers, four squares. That leaves practically only this square, this square, this square, and this square to figure out. And we already figured out this square. It had to be a 1 or an 8. Now, if one of these squares must be a 1, then it follows that this must be an 8. And as we remember, this was a 5, 3, and this was a 5, 3. Therefore, this must be a 1. Now we can solve these two. This is now the 1, and this is a 4. The four blocks down, this four blocks over, here is a four, and here is a what? A three. These must be a two and a one. So 
what does it leave us? There are so few threes, but we have a three block now. So let's go back to the one, two, three here now. One can't go here and it can't go here. So we're looking at a five, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, five. Except the nine blocks down here, of course. So this is a five or a seven. That is a little difficult, but let us look at the eight because the eight is going to go here, isn't it? Because we have this eight blocking across and this eight blocking up and this eight blocking down. So why not just go for the low hanging fruit? Now at two, three and a seven across here, because this two, of course, blocks these squares here. So here's a two. And we know now that a two must go in one of these squares because one of these is going to be a two down here, right? So now we got two blocking down and a two blocking over two, therefore in one of these two squares. And here we are looking for a three and a seven. Therefore, these must be a four and a five. The four blocks across, making this a five and this a four. This can only be a, <laughs> what, a five. But now that we know that this square uh, is a five and we have two fives blocking down, one five here and here blocking across, we know this is a five. Therefore, this is a five and this is a three. And uh, look here, this is a three. And as I said earlier, we have to figure out another way to find out what this square is going to be. And it couldn't be a three and a five. It's a seven. So it's official, it's a seven. Here now, a uh, two and a nine. The nine blocks across giving me this a two and this a nine here. Now we have a nine in this square as well, because this nine blocks across, this nine blocks across, and these two nines block these two squares. So here's a nine, yes. And here a one, three, and a seven, and here a one, two, one, two, seven. Ah, one, two block here, here's a seven, good. Here's another seven. Here's a one, three, the three blocks over, here's a one, here's a three, right? Now this must be a one and this must be a two. And now we have a two down here and this corner square can only be a three. That gives me a three here. And this now must be a seven. Seven goes up here and a one in the corner. Here's another one and here must be a four. Very interesting puzzle today from the New York Times. I hope that you enjoyed it as well and that we'll come back for more soon. Thank you for watching and bye for now.